Hi, I'm Joni Petrie and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about the third house. What is the third house relative in your life and how is your life going to be affected by this most powerful house in your chart? The third house has to deal with, above all else, our courage, our power in terms of our willpower. What is our will to live and be here? This is a very powerful house. And it deals specifically with communications because what is it the third house is about? Our ability to, to communicate, particularly with the written word, but it's all mass communications. Therefore, the third house it deals with any kind of media, which can be television, radio, computers, internet, Facebook, uh, Instagram, all of these different forms of communication dealing with the internet or dealing with our telephones. I mean, look at the world needs to be in communication. This is probably one of the biggest powerful essences of who we are, our need to communicate, and this is what the third house is all about. So because it, the first house is our entrance into the world, the second house is our early childhood, the third house is where we become totally aware of our brothers and sisters. So it is the house of siblings, specifically though, the youngest one. But overall, it does reflect our relationship with our siblings, all of them. So with the third house, dealing with, with our education, our learning, it is part of our childhood experience because it deals with our lower education, our schooling. Whereas when we start to look at the opposing houses, they deal with more the first six houses deal more on a personal level, whereas the last six houses deal more on a public level. Third house is lower education, ninth house is higher education. But I wanna specifically talk about each house because the third house, it deals with travel as well. So it deals with our traveling, but it deals with short distance travels. Whereas, and it deals with all types of travel, our learning, our education. And when it comes to the physical body, it deals with our arms and our hands and our lungs. So we need our lungs to communicate, but our hands in terms of building and creating things and writing our self-expression in this manner, our way that we communicate. Because it's also talked about that the third house is, is the house of arts and crafts, creating things, being crafty. Um, but most of all, any form of communication, specifically the written word. So when we talk about all of these variables, we're talking about our need to create, our need to express ourselves. But remember, the third house is relative to Mars in many respects because Mars is the karka or indicator of brothers and sisters. But when you have Mars in the third house, this can really give you drive, ambition, make you ambitious, but you'll have trouble with your brothers and sisters. This is just a given. There will be contention even if there isn't at this point in your life, at some point in your life, you will have problems with brothers and sisters. This is the fact that Mars being the Corica indicator of brothers and sisters in this house creates problems for brothers and sisters. But it does make you very courageous, strong, incredible willpower, and very ambitious. If you have the sun in the third house, the sun is a malefic. You have a brother and sis or sister that is overwhelming. It has to be the center of attention that has to shine bright and can be a little bit overbearing. If you have Venus in the third house, this can be your ability to create, to express yourself, to communicate beautifully, creatively, very artistic in many, many respects and a very beautiful 
brother or sister, particularly younger, can even represent that possibly there's a sister, whereas Mars can represent more of a brother, but not always. When we talk about Mercury in the third house, you're all over the place, an incredible writer, great self-expression, some of the greatest writers have Mercury in the second house. Also because it does rule the hands, they're very crafty with their hands, very talented, such as sports that requires finesse with the hands. This will be Mercury in the third house. Also a love of travel and going many, many places, short distance travel, sharp, witty, intelligent, Mercury in the third, okay? If you have Jupiter in the third, amazing abilities to communicate, communicate with people of all different cultures and around the world, love of travel, great learner, good in school, and that's Mercury in the third as well as Jupiter in the third, uh, an understanding and a striving to do well with your grades in education and learning. Saturn's in the third, you may struggle in school. You may have problems with teachers. You may have problems with learning problems, Dyslex dyslexia or disabilities in some way of learning. And probably a distance and not, not being very connected with a brother or sister. Maybe it's through distance of location. Maybe it's that you just don't have anything in common. Saturn in the third house. And if you have Rahu in the third house, this will cause a disconnect with a brother or sister. And, it, and another thing about Rahu, Rahu can be computers. So people that have Rahu or Uranus in the third house, they're very good with technology, can, can go into a field of computers or communication skills or writing. If you have K2 in the third, this is going to be a, an extreme distance or even a loss around brothers or sisters. It can mean that there's a very profound need to express yourself because K2 is like this burning desire, but it's also where something never feels whole and complete and you don't feel like you're connected to your siblings or that you have expressed yourself properly or enough with K2 in the third house. You get Uranus in the third house. This is technology. This is a love of travel and airplanes. When you have Neptune in the third, this could be very creative, a mystic, uh, and an artist of some sort, maybe in music. Pluto in the third could deal with control and issues around brothers and sisters and the need to express yourself in a controlled manner. Make sure you're not being manipulative of others with Pluto in the third. And you may have a very manipulative brother or sister. So the moon in the third, this is like incredibly sensitive in the way that you express yourself, a sense of feeling and a love of learning, education, a sharp mind, very emotional in the way that you express yourself. There's a deep sensitivity and thoughtfulness in the way that you express yourself, particularly in writing. So with that, I'd like to close. I hope you have a better understanding of the essence of what the third house is all about and how you can work with this in your own life. Remember, it gives you courage. And to have the courage to try things makes you live your life to the fullest. So this is the most important aspect, living life to the fullest. Um, having ambition, having drive, having momentum in life. This is all about third house qualities. So if you would like to learn more about Vedic astrology, you can go to my website, which is universityofvedicastrology.com. 
And if you would like to read more of my messages, you can go to my main website, which is galacticcenter.org. Thank you.